alleged perpetrators are coming here. Not only are they evading justice in their local communities, but they're coming here and endangering Israeli students, Israeli mm -hmm. children. And so back back to, I suppose, to my initial question, what's the likelihood then, looking at, I suppose, these trends you're pointing to, that Michael Leifer will be extradited from Israel? A new turn in a sexual abuse case spanning more than eight and a half thousand miles. A Jerusalem district psychiatrist today saying that former Australian school principal Malka Leifer is fit to face an extradition hearing in Israel over the alleged sexual abuse of girls. The former head of the Adas Israel School in Melbourne, an ultra-Orthodox institution, is wanted on 74 child sexual abuse charges in Australia, allegedly committed between 2004 and 2004. 2008. Now, Lifer fled to Israel a decade ago and was arrested in February after a massive Israeli police undercover operation. Australia has been seeking her extradition since 2014. Now, Manny Wax is a child sex abuse survivor who's now a major advocate for other victims. He's been instrumental in exposing sex abuse in the Jewish Australian community and was also a major player in the Royal Commission into Child Sex Abuse in Australia. And he joins me in studio. Manny, a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for the opportunity. Now, you have been present at many of the major and minor turning points of this uh, Malka Life uh, case. Today, the court has ruled that she's fit for an extradition hearing. What's the likelihood that she ultimately will be extradited. Uh, it's important to note firstly that the court hasn't ruled that the, uh, the has recommended. District, district psychiatrist right. uh, has recommended mm -hmm. that, uh, it, that she is fit to stand trial, which is a major development. Um, and what we're seeing is that there is yet another delay in this ongoing saga, which has been going on for several years, uh, where now the defence has the opportunity to prepare a case to cross-examine mm -hmm. um, those who have provided their um, recommendations and to bring their own new recommendation, a new psychiatric assessment, um, and we'll go from there. So um, that's going to happen all on the 14th of November. Uh, you know, in, 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 from one perspective, it's a very uh, positive development, these findings mm -hmm. today. However, yet again, there is a further delay. Right. You keep mentioning the word delay. She did flee to Israel 10 years ago. Why has it taken so long to get to this point? Well, firstly, uh, she not only did she flee uh, Australia, she was uh, supported in the flight process by the Adas Israel leadership. Uh, it was found that they had purchased her ticket, the tickets the day they found out about it. So um, clearly there is some issues around that and they should be held to account um, for what they did there. Uh, and in terms of why it has taken this long, it did take a number of years for the alleged victims, for the complainants to come forward to go to the police. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, knowing the type of community they grew up in, the ultra-Orthodox Adas Israel community, uh, it would have been very clear to them, as the girls, um, the alleged victims themselves, have said that it was something that you couldn't discuss, right. you couldn't come with the allegations to anyone. Talk us through why. Why is it such, I suppose, I don't want to say the word, but a unique experience, I suppose, being in the ultra-Orthodox community surrounding reporting things like uh, sexual abuse? Look, I think um, this issue is prevalent in all segments of society, mm -hmm. both the abuse itself and then the reluctance of victims to come forward. And the reason, primary reason for this is because the the lack of support from the community, from their friends, from their family. A lot of it is due to lack of education. But if we add in, uh, for example, the Jewish community, similarly to the Catholic Church, when there are religious elements, um, it, the more closed the community, the uh, higher probability for these types of offences to go mm -hmm. unchecked and to be covered up. So it's really important that we have as much transparency and accountability, accountability as we can. The fact that you're saying that she was almost helped to flee. What, what is that pointing to? Well, it's, it, she wasn't helped to flee. They actually purchased her tickets. I mean, they arranged uh, for her to get what out of the country. What does that expose, though, about the environment here? It, it, look, it, we've seen such cases in many other communities, including the, within the Jewish community, right around the world. I and many others are certainly uh, very optimistic that it will happen. The biggest issue is the time, uh, the length of time it's taking to get there, and um, that's certainly causing uh, a great deal of frustration and a whole lot more for her uh, brave victims who have come forward to uh, take these allegations. I mean, let's not forget the, the uh, very few uh, victims actually go to the police, lodge complaints, and go through this process mm -hmm. because it is it is 
so difficult as someone who has gone through it um, themselves through a court hearing. It really does um, cause many triggers uh, and I personally know some of these victims and I know what they go through and it's not easy and therefore it's important also to take this message of these courageous girls, these sisters who have gone public and exposed themselves in the pursuit of justice and in that process, they are not only getting justice for themselves, but they're continuing to raise awareness about this most important issue in our community. And they are standing up there as role models, and they need to be applauded and supported by the Jewish community and the leadership in the Israeli government, as we have seen. But I certainly hope that we get to see that uh, to come to fruition, where we actually see uh, Makalai for being held to account in Australia. Many are doing important work, and it's been a real uh, pleasure to have you here with Thank us. Thank you so much.